In this very first episode, I will take you back to where my journey in corporate integrity started. What is my why? What were the triggers? And what can you expect from the podcast? Great to have you here. Corporate integrity, fraud, non-compliance, and cybersecurity. Would you like to understand the root causes, detect threats, and take measurements to protect the most precious assets? As a leader, you need to be prepared and stay actionable in the event of an incident. Sonia Sternemann talks in her podcast, The Human Factor. Corporate integrity matters. To leaders and entrepreneurs who want to have impact, foster corporate integrity, and act as role models. As an international expert for corporate governance and integrity, entrepreneur, and independent board member, she knows the challenges. Let her inspire you. Welcome to this initial episode of the podcast, The Human Factor, Corporate Integrity Matters. You might be an integrity enthusiast, a game changer, or already a business leader. I'm your mentor when it comes to corporate integrity and ethical leadership with impact. Founder of Corporate Integrity Concepts and the Corporate Integrity Academy, with the vision to protect and secure assets, reputation and actionability, yours and the one of your organization. Why? Because corporate integrity matters. Let us make the world a place of corporate integrity and ethical leadership. And now, let's dive to where it all began. Even though my interest in integrity started in the very early childhood, I'm definitely not going to tell you these stories too. Professionally, it started in the early 90s, to be precise, in 1992. I was part of an internal audit team in the financial services sector. I was young, curious, and eager to learn from the best. It was exciting to see how processes were set up. The behavior of the trading teams, the control environment, and also the misbehavior of certain managers. At that time, the regulatory environment was hardly existing compared to now. The risk of non-compliance seemed to not to be arrived in Europe yet. And in with this case, first case of non-compliance on the table, for me it was clear. This can't be how we conduct business. I was somehow shocked. My goal was set. So, times changed, <laughs> my goal not. Between 1992 and today, I experienced a lot of situations which could be categorized as ignorance. Ignorance for what is going on, how people behave, and why they behave like they do. All these observed from a meta level, but sometimes also in the middle of the storm. When we take a closer look at the geopolitical environment we are all in right now, and we will also dig deeper here in this podcast, no matter what kind of industry, region or culture, we are all part of the game. Yes, and we all have skin in the game. And here a big, big, big thank you to Nassim Taleb. I just love your book, Skin in the Game. And whether we like it or not, we are, in, we are involved and we have to be responsible and take responsibility. Therefore, it is important to take a closer look, talk about it and to raise awareness. Integrity as such and corporate integrity in specific affects different disciplines, if not any discipline. From economics, politics, sociology, psychology to medicine and tech. The economy is driven by politicians, experts and influencers, and as well as our entire society. We all need, and often also want, to understand what's going on. Prominent cases you have seen in the media the last few weeks and years, like Wirecard, Greensill, Madoff, and for the little bit older generations also Enron, it's still a very good example and use case to learn from and to make it better. The automotive industry and many, many more. Some of them 
will also be discussed in detail in case studies in our academy. And if you are interested to dig deeper and understand the root causes and mechanisms behind. You as a business leader are in the first row. Yes, we all are. And it could also happen to us and our organization. We are responsible for being on spot for non-compliance, fraudulent behavior, cyber attacks, and many more patterns. We will talk about here in the podcast. You want to know what's going on and you want to stay above. You have to. And you want to be prepared and stay actionable. Particularly, this is what forward-looking business leaders want and have to. Just as a first take-home assignment, and you will always receive one in our podcast here, answer yourself or maybe you bring it back to your team. The question of, what am I or are we as an organization doing to foster corporate integrity? I repeat, what am I or are we as an organization doing to foster corporate integrity? This is just a small exercise which will deepen the awareness and let you understand the maturity level of corporate integrity in your environment and your organization. What I am often asked, how do you cope with the fact that you mostly see the dark side of human behavior? It's a good question. First of all, I'm still curious and eager to learn and understand the big picture. The deeper you dig, the more complex the framework, the structure, the relationships involved and the mechanism behind become. There is no case like the other. I always fully engage with the client situation and the question related because they want to have answers. And I also want to have the answer. And I need to have facts. My work is an interaction between economics and human behavior, where I am connecting the dots of strategy, tactics, negotiation, psychology, communication, finance, processes, sociology, and law. Plus, of course, many subdisciplines like interview techniques and forensic accounting too. I trust that our own integrity goes far back into childhood. It is important how we are all so socialized. Can you remember what you wanted to become as a child? What did you play with? What kind of behavior made you furious? For me, giving corporate integrity a voice is a vision I'm living, together with many other leaders all over the world. And I come back to the question, how do you cope with the fact that you mostly see the dark side of human being, human behavior? In a nutshell, I'm curious about all the different sides of a person and their behavior. And for those who do not yet know me and what I am doing, I am implementing my vision via the different roles I have. On a strategic level, I'm an independent board member for several listed and non-listed companies a mentor, sparring partner and executive coach, and an entrepreneur. On a rather operational level, I'm deeply involved in the client situations, in the investigations and in the fact-finding processes within, with my role as a CEO. And on a thought leadership and knowledge transfer level, I act as a speaker, author, instructor, and that's also the reason why we founded Corporate Integrity Academy. And, as you can hear recently, also as a podcast host. I initiated the movement or tribe, however you would like to name it, of Corporate Integrity Matters. Because that's what I deeply believe in. And that is where all comes together. So whenever you think it's worth to tag information to integrity, use the hashtag Corporate Integrity Matters to make that movement alive. I am convinced that if we all do some efforts, no matter how big these are, we can make the world a place of more integrity and our organizations a place of more corporate integrity. 
And I promise you to let you know what you can expect from this podcast, The Human Factor, Corporate Integrity Matters. I will serve you with digestible input, hopefully also inspirations. You also already experienced that I will bring in some take-home assignments and reflections for you and your team. We will talk about actual topics and cases we can find in the media and those who dig deeper. Theoretical aspects will be transferred to the practice with use cases. And also leadership topics will find their way here, combined with governance, risk and compliance. Because it's all about the human factor. And of course, I will also invite in interesting guests which will be interviewed on specific topics. And this was just a small tour d'horizon about my why, my podcast, and my deep, deep persuasion that it all starts with us. With you as a leader, making corporate integrity alive in your organization. Do you remember the first reflection, the first take-home assignment? If not, here again. What am I or are we as an organization doing to foster corporate integrity? And please do not forget to share the question with either your team or someone you think would need it. Because knowledge without sharing is just useless. And this was the initial episode of The Human Factor, Corporate Integrity Matters. Following the belief, corporate integrity secures and empowers individuals and organizations. Would you like to learn more, meet peers and getting qualified? So visit the website Corporate Integrity Concepts or Corporate Integrity Academy. Or do you think this podcast could be interesting for someone you know? Sharing is caring and we are always happy to welcome your peers to our community. And if you like this episode, subscribe and don't miss any of the future ones. The show notes are, of course, enriched with relevant information and your connection via any of the social media channels is highly appreciated and will be answered. Promised. And please do not forget... Topics of your interest or interview partners are highly welcome. Just send me a note on any of the channels you know. That's it from my side. I thank you for listening. My name is Sonja Stierniemann and I'm your host. Stay curious, actionable and a role model. Take care and goodbye.